Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As promised, I was going to show you an upgrade that I did on Abel. But first I want to go into the uh, naysayers. So all of the naysayers said that the way I had my battery set up wouldn't work. Because I was running both shelter power and truck power off of the same battery bank. Said it wouldn't work. So here are all the batteries I removed. These are all dated mid-2018. And I'll go ahead and throw up some pictures on the screen of the condition of these batteries after they've been in continuous use nonstop for about five years. Now these are a uh, two year rated battery, deep cycle, uh, sealed lead acid, um, maintenance free. I never did any maintenance on them aside from opening the cover every so often and rinsing everything off, all the dust and everything off with a uh, pressure washer. So. With that being said, um, I'll throw some pictures up on the screen here of the batteries that I use to replace these. They are an AGM battery, which is an upgrade to a sealed lead acid. Not much of an upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. And uh, this will be a continuous <laughs> video, by the way. An uncut, raw video. So here we are in the battery box on the truck. And some of you have never seen this setup before, unless you've been watching this channel for a long time. So this is a battery balancer. They normally use them on school buses. Uh, this will do, it takes basically 24 volts and then balances out the 12 volt side of the batteries. Now a lot of you are wondering, what is this mess of wires and how is, this, what, how is it wired? Well, it is a very simple setup once you look at it on paper. So I have three 24 volt battery banks, right? And they're all wired in parallel. Uh, so it's a parallel series setup because there's a 12 volt side of the battery and a 24 volt side of the battery. So basically the way I have it set up is I have <coughs> two batteries on 24 volt because they're 12 volt batteries. So they're wired together to make 24 volts. So you've got 24 volt, 24 volt, and then these two are 24 volt. And then those are all wired together in parallel so that you have a continuous flow and a balanced flow of voltage. And so what I've done here is I've taken, this is gonna be hard to see. So you've got ground, 12 volt, 24 volt. So basically it takes the 24 volt goes into here and it balances the 12 volt side. So this coming out balances all of the 12 volt side, which are all tied together. So yeah, pretty simple and basic setup. We'll go in the shelter here and I'll show you the, uh, the Victron readout on the screen. So if you've been watching the channel for any period of time, you'll know that I, uh, a while back installed all Victron components and uh, upgraded from the Xantrex stuff. So basically the way I have this set up is I've got some 100 amp breakers in here and a 200 amp breaker. Um, so I've got a 12 volt, 24 volt, and 24 volt. And this one goes up to the, um, well it's it's daisy chained through here, but it basically it goes up to the inverter to run 
power in here for like the mini split uh, the solar and whatnot it's a pretty basic system and this is all set up very utilitarian everything's out in the open um, it's easy to work on I am not one of those guys who's gonna put mosaic tile and copper penny flooring and stuff like that in one of these boxes this we don't live out of this thing this is just for going out and having fun uh, sometimes for up to two weeks at a time but yeah very basic um, this thing here is pretty neat you can go through and set up all of your components um, I've got Wi-Fi hooked up to it which ties into the uh, internet so it does automatic updates on itself it's pretty handy to have but uh, let's go in the house here and I'll show you uh, something that I set up yesterday that's pretty neat all right here we are in the uh, command center or my editing office or whatever you want to call it but check this out I've got the uh, Victron connect uh, software set up on my computer and you can kind of go through here. You can basically set everything up um, through this app or this software, I guess you could say. Um, it's pretty handy. So right now it's in real time and it's showing some of the information that's available. You can also download this app on your phone um, and we can go into some of the advanced um, systems looking at the DC and the uh, state of charge what else do we got here AC consumption obviously not a whole lot of this stuff is gonna work until you turn that inverter on but um, when it's just sitting here idle it's kinda neat to look at like the solar and whatnot so yeah, just a quick update on uh, every <laughs> everything people said wouldn't work for the longest time. You can't run uh, your house batteries and your vehicle batteries off of the same battery bank. Well, you sure as heck can, and I've been proving it for five years now. So don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it. But other than that, uh, that's probably going to be it for this episode, guys. If you like this episode, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, love to have you as a subscriber. As always, you're going to want to stay tuned. You never know what's coming up on this channel. But other than that, I hope you guys are staying safe, taking care of each other. And as always, I will catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.